this question is about waves. Now we're told that we have a wave that's longitudinal and it's traveling from left to right. So you have to imagine that now. Uh, what does a longitudinal wave mean? Maybe that really helps to know. A longitudinal wave is a wave where the travel direction, you know, like the direction of travel is parallel to the oscillation. Now, the weird thing is the diagram they showed you doesn't quite look like that. So you have to think a little bit more carefully about it. But because we have the travel is parallel to the oscillation, what it really means then, and by the way, they're asking for which, where is there a center of compression? And we're told that this right here, this D, that's the displacement from equilibrium. And we're told that X, that's just the position along this, um, this particle or this medium. So the way you have to think about it is um, these particles, so just imagine you're just like looking at one particle. It's going to sort of move to the right, then to the left. Right? That's what it does. It just goes right and left and right and left. It just goes back and forth, let's just say. So that's what one particle does. So if you think about it, if it's normally supposed to be here, but it's been displaced to the right by a certain amount. See, then you can consider that, that right there, that this point right here, that's at x equals zero. In other words, at x equals zero right here, that's when it's displaced positively, like maximum displacement from where it's supposed to be. Um, that's not when it's at the center of a compression. It turns out when it's at the center of a compression is when it's coming back in and being squished here. So that happens at x, that's when its displacement is actually sitting here. So x equals one, that's this case right here. That's where you're at right there. Now, of course, you can go a step further. You can say x equals 2 here, and then x equals 3 again. But that's why this one right here, it doesn't seem that obvious. Yeah, I don't think it's that obvious at all, but it turns out this right here is what we're looking for. The center of the compression, the place where it's actually sort of being squished. And remember, this particle is coming in, being squished here, then sort of going out again to rarefaction, then being compressed, then rarefaction, then compressed, rarefaction. So this particle, then, you could say it's at the center of the compression at B, uh, which is when we say that x equals 1 meter. So that is what's important here. I thought it was a little bit tricky, actually. I don't think it's that simple.